All right, we are back with another solo leveling arise video and in today's video we're gonna be doing a tier list because I've realized it's been like a minute since I've done one and obviously with Unity Noon being released within like a day and a half ago I was like why not let's go ahead and do an updated tier list for free to play players so the way that my tier list work by the way in case you do not know is I'm free to play on my account right and so every piece of content I do is all for free to play wise and including this tier list video so the way that we are going to rank these characters it's going to be based not on max dupe but rather like a1 or a2 at most because for free to play wise ideally you're not getting every character that you summon for to a5 right so the characters that, that you do summon for most likely you're probably getting to like a1 a2 obviously there will be some exceptions to when some units are just completely worth maxing out but for the most part if you are free to play nine out of ten times when you do summon you're probably going to go for like a1 or a2 at most because that is all you can afford based on the amount of resources you have so just kind of bear that in mind because i know there will be a lot of tier lists that do have like all the broken ass characters you know double s tier and while that isn't a problem it's just there can be some big differences between like an a3 unit between like an a5 unit if that makes sense so that's how we're going to do this tier list it's going to be based up to a2 in my opinion on where these units belong and i will give an explanation on why i go ahead and place these units where they belong so i guess if y'all new sub like and in the comment section let me know your thoughts on this tier list um again this is going to be more catered towards free to play but pay to win you can obviously watch this one and let me know your thoughts on it as well so i'm going to go ahead and rank all the sr units first uh because i'm pretty sure y'all don't really want to be bothered with that but i will give an explanation on a few sr units and some of my favorites and why i placed them so give me one second and i'll be right back all right, so when it comes to the SRs, these are where I have these units. Now, I'll go ahead and explain some of these units on maybe why I did go ahead and place them there, but just kind of bear in mind that with the tier list, we are also basing it on the amount of content and what kind of content we have in game right now. So maybe in this tier list, some units are gonna be rated higher than others just because of, again, for example, Workshop of Brilliant Light, right? Just a crazy, crazy hard piece of content that a lot of free-to-play players are tend to struggling on, including myself. Um, so maybe in this video, maybe this is why Nam Cheng is gonna be S plus, maybe even double S tier for that reason. Um, but overall, I will say outside of Workshop of Brilliant Light, the unit is still very, very powerful, just having Freeze, not only one of the very, very few units I can freeze, but also a unit that does have break on top of that. So in my opinion, just a very, very overall good unit for free to play wise that you should definitely be using um, in those places if you are not when it comes to freezing and breaks, in my opinion. Okay. Next up, I guess another unit I will talk about is the boy Lee Jo Hee. So I have this unit in B tier. She could probably be ranked lower or even, I don't know, she can't be D tier for sure. But I did go ahead and place her B tier. The reason being is while this unit is not used as often, she is free, right? Not only is she free, but you get multiple copies of her alongside Yu Jin Ho, which is why I went ahead and placed this unit in B tier and A tier. The reason being is, again, you might not use her, but for those who are free to play and for those who tend to struggle and like maybe you need water element units, you can always bring her, right? You can get her to like, I want to say minimum like A3, A4 just by playing the game itself. Um, and the unit is not bad. I think she's pretty, pretty good. I mean, offering a little bit of heals, offering a little bit of attack support as well. So again, while the unit isn't anything crazy broken in comparison to like, you know, these guys up here, he still does offer a little bit of versatility in my opinion, which is why I did go ahead and place her in B tier. Yujin Ho, same thing, except the only unit is, or the difference rather, is that the unit does have breaks. So I'm actually very biased towards this unit. I, I like him a lot. Um, I know not a lot of people use him, but this unit was a very, very big carry for me. Not only did like I ended up pulling him, I, I think he's more than maxed out for me, but um, I pulled him and used him in the tier 10 spider alongside Cha and just, he was my number one breaker hands down so i even had kim chul at the exact same time um as where i do have my jinho but the only thing is that like i had my jinho already built up so i was like why would i even bother using kim chul i think my kim chul by the way is still level one and he's maxed out or at least um a5 where my jinho is like a5 as well but i've been using this unit for a long time and he is a fantastic fantastic breaker and offering a little bit of heals as well not the craziest amount but his break damage is certainly not to be um overseen okay so make sure you are using them if you are free to play and you are struggling but by now i'm pretty sure everyone can do tier 10 spider so uh but for those who you know early access or early game rather then he's a great unit to have in my opinion right so all right so now we're gonna go ahead and get started talking about the ssrs and where i would place them um again the sr units they're really good they're really fun they're not bad and for free to play wise they are low-key a blessing when it comes to like certain pieces of content that we have right now 
So I love them. But when it comes to the SSRs, we are going to go ahead and talk about each and every one and where I would rank them. And again, just kind of bear in mind that some units will be more rated based on the content we have now. And maybe in the August tier list, you know, they could be bumped up higher or lower depending on the situation. And I guess, you know, the amount of content that we have and the difficulty of said content. Okay. So starting off first with the boy Lim, um, really good unit. Again, I am a big fan of how this unit is and how he's working. Uh, just an OG day one unit and his dark damage is definitely not to be overseen or overlooked rather he's great the range on his attacks are fantastic his ultimate very unique and very hard hitting too right so i feel like for those who do have limb um i don't know where exactly you would want him at for free to play wise but i do know that if you can get him to a2 at least and the good thing is that he is in a regular full banner so you can go for deeps if you want to he's not bad but as of right now speaking in terms of content wise do we need a dark element unit not really right now the meta <laughs> I say meta like it's like pvp or something but the meta with this game right now is kind of more geared towards like a water element right obviously workshop for brilliant light being the latest and i guess most difficult content that we have right now then water type is definitely up there in terms of just quote unquote being meta but for Lim, um he's a fantastic unit and if you do need to take dark units into story mode or whatever piece of content you're taking on he's not bad and his damage is definitely definitely um not too shabby in my opinion so we'll go ahead and leave him at s plus as well and kind of move on here huang dong su okay now when it comes to both wind type boys unfortunately i almost would just like loki want to put him in a tier um but because of the fact that we only have two wind type units right now and i mean they're they're not like terrible but they're definitely not the best and not units i would advise you taking um into a fight unless like you absolutely need to okay Huang Dong Su and Wu Jin Chu, I would say I'll probably give him A tier, maybe even bump up Huang Dong Su to S plus and keep Wu Jin Chu A tier. Wu Jin Chu, unfortunately, I mean, the unit is free, right? So I really can't dog on him because of the fact that he's a free unit and, you know, you don't have to summon for him. But for those who do pull him and you desperately want to use a win type unit, I mean, I guess you could use him. Uh, I know they did recently buff up his kid. I don't exactly know to what extent, but he's not a bad unit and... His defense, his damage can be kind of good as well. Huang Dong Su, same thing. Um, a very cool mechanic and just allowing the unit to do just more damage as well. Uh, based on his skills. It's really helpful. So I would say... I'm just waiting for Amamaya, honestly. Like, when Amamaya comes out, she's going to be double S tier. I'm, like, very, very confident in saying that. But, again, when it comes to the two wind-type boys, we only have two of them. Um, so if you really, really want to use a wind-type unit, then I guess go ahead and use Huang Su and Wooden Jewel. But I'll go ahead and leave them there right now. And then probably in the August tier list, they most likely they're getting bumped down. Probably, like, to have both of them in A tier. And then... Or maybe even beats here, but that's kind of crazy. So I'll keep them here for now. Okay, we'll, we'll keep them there at the moment um, and kind of go move on. But let's go ahead and move on to Libor, okay? The other dark element unit that we have, um, really good. I mean, again, I think I'm going to go ahead and bump her up to double S tier. Just because, honestly, with how the unit is working, she's not only like a DPS, a dark DPS, but she also is playing a dark support for the other dark units on your team, which can be helpful, right? She does have dark element uh, damage increase, which is super, super helpful, especially if you are rocking a mono dark team, then it's like by far just very clutch to have. Um, and her damage as well as a DPS is definitely, definitely, definitely something to not overlook very good very hard hitting and her foxes and everything um i believe now is the buffs they are separate and so you can do more crit rate and crit damage with those um foxes which can be helpful so i leave this unit i don't think she's bad at all and definitely a unit you may want to use if you are wanting to rock a dark team itself um but yeah libor I, I don't know what else to say about her she's really good she's really helpful and for dark fights definitely you, you do want to take okay and plus she did just get a brand new costume in a battle pass so why not um moving on next let's go ahead and finish up the dark type venus that is going to be the boy silvermane again double s tier the unit is really good his bleed damage his damage outside of bleed is just crazy top tier again if you are able to get this unit maxed out he's by far just super super broken in terms of damage but um if we're comparing like an a2 to like an a2 limb and a2 silvermane I probably will say that Silverman is probably just a tad bit better. Again, really good damage. Bleed just helpful as well for certain fights. I know obviously they did they did go ahead and get rid of bleed and some mechanics for boss fights, but 
um even now he's still a really good unit and something not to overlook and plus if you again if you are rocking silver main with libora then you are getting that dark element damage increase right which is going to be super helpful so i feel like silver main is definitely a unit still worth using um and even outside of dark element fights he's still putting up good numbers so i'm gonna go ahead and put silver main here one of the very few units i don't have but from gameplay and from what others do say about this unit he's still a really top tier unit 100 so uh, let's go ahead and move on here. I guess we'll go ahead and get started talking about the light units. All right, so starting off with the first light type unit, OG Beck, right? Really, really good breaker. I mean, this unit is like if you pulled them day one, I feel like you were someone who was able to complete Spider like very early on just because of how good his break and his damage was. Um, not rather was but still is to this day he's still an amazing top tier light type breaker in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and put him s tier or s plus rather and i probably will end up moving some of these units down here just because we haven't even gotten to the crazy units yet and the fact that these two are already double s yeah 100 i will make some adjustments but og beck i think he's still great to this day especially you can get him to like a2 i believe is a sweet spot for free to play wise then yeah your break damage is by far just stupid op like they make these units just their break damage is like nothing in my opinion so og bank still really really good helpful especially when it comes to break damage as well just one of the best in my opinion so definitely 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 still worth using if you have them um unfortunately just right now we don't have any light type content to where you need back in my opinion but i guess for story mode there are some light element fights that he can be helpful in uh, but outside of that right now he's still really good and i don't want to put him below just because i feel like he doesn't deserve it but his break his damage just amazing and top tier um let's go ahead and actually bump these units down here do i want to bump no nah, i probably can't right should i bump any of these units down to a tier i'm wondering probably not i probably will keep like this i, I still like it um because I, I don't know why i think i was thinking of an a5 silver room but again this is for free to play so a2 is probably the is the max i capped it off at um so we're gonna go ahead and keep it like this i think this is probably a good way to have it for now because again we haven't even gone to the crazy units yet which we're about to so i guess starting off with the first crazy unit who you want to talk about um let's talk about the boy min right let's finish up the light typing i mean double s tier what else can i say the unit is just so good and so so important to have i mean for free to play wise if you were to ask me what is one unit i like 100 would tell you to get my answer would always be min as of right now it would 100 be min the reason being is because the unit is one of the very few support units in the game first off okay but second of all his support is crazy and say not only are you buffing crit rate crit damage you're also debuffing the enemy to take more damage as well it's amazing to have and especially if you can get him to like a1 a2 at least it's is even better for your other light type units and just other members on your team so he's great and in conjunction with the other dps units like cha alicia choi or whatnot it's great not really choi because he can't do crits but maybe like you or jiwoo or whatnot amazing for crit rate crit damage buffers and he doesn't have any breaks as part of a kit but again he is support he is a support type unit so he's not really going to be doing damage like that but again just fantastic for making sure your dps do just do what they're supposed to and just dish out hella damage so um min still one of my favorite units to this day and not really not really a unit that has been replaced yet i still feel like he's used for like every big dps check in my opinion to this day and he's so good so good for reason so um definitely still worth mentioning and using and 100 worth having if you are free to play all right next up who do we have ah uh, yes baby girl cha i mean <laughs> what else can i say what else can i say what still one of like the best absolute most crazy dps units in this game 100 and for free to play wise i feel like i feel like most free to play probably have her like a3 minimum for some reason i don't know why i mean i understand why it's cha it's waifu is baby girl but no i mean outside of the whole waifu factor this unit is crazy cracked as dps and just broken in terms of dishing out damage i mean her dancer effect her you know ability to not allow the enemy to heal or anything it's just super super good her ultimate is just by far one of the hardest hitting ones as well um i mean there's really not not much else to say and the fact that like in the recent live stream the devs went ahead and said that you know a lot of people are not 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 a lot of people but you know people are sad that cha really isn't being used as often and they're gonna be, re be releasing some content to where cha is helpful in i'm just like y'all act like as if cha is not broken still to this day she's still crazy broken in op so i found that funny but yeah the unit is definitely worth having and if you are not having this unit on your account yeah use your black tickets summon get her she makes life a lot easier and just 
really good in terms of damage okay i wouldn't say she's probably like the best damage dealer um but she definitely is up there especially if you do get her like a3 which is by far the best place to have her for free to play wise amazing in my opinion all right so chaw double s tier 100 percent. i feel like a lot of guys will not dis disagree with me um next up let's talk about the girl Malin. now Malin is kind of an exception as of right now the only reason is because of workshop or brilliant light okay so i will put her double s tier for the time being and again kind of bear in mind that if you have actually let me okay we'll talk about her and alicia at the exact same time so if you have alicia okay i mean obviously alicia is gonna be double s tier and i'll get to her in a second but if you have alicia then Malin combined with alicia double s tier 100 but if you are free to play and you are someone that does not have alicia and you have Malin then maybe she will be S plus tier. And the reason being is because the unit does buff core attack damage and which is going to be helpful. And throughout the entire roster of the game, there's only two units that do work off of core attack damage, which is going to be Alicia and the brand new Yunsu Noon, which Yusu Noon, I believe you need to get to A1 for the core attack damage to be buffed up. But again, Alicia and Malin are just a crazy combo to be combined with. So if you do have both of them, then yeah, I would say Malin is probably going to be double S tier. But if you are someone that does not have Malin, then I would probably say S plus is the way to go for this unit. Just because, again, the unit outside of Alicia really isn't that great. She's still fantastic to use, don't get me wrong. But I don't think she deserves that double S tier. I think she would probably be S plus, in my opinion. But again, for most people, I feel like you probably do have Alicia and Malin just like me. I do have both of them, which is why I'm going to go ahead and put Malin a double S tier. And Alicia, I mean it's really no wonder as to why this unit is double s tier freeze crazy damage um not offering breaks or anything like that but her damage is just as if not just better than cha in my opinion i mean if you're speaking from like an a2 a3 point of view um i wonder who has more damage i'll probably have to look into it and kind of see but i want to say cha does do more damage on on a3 between the two of them i could be wrong but alicia's damage is definitely not something to be overlooked on and regardless i mean no need to say but if you have alicia then i'm pretty sure workshop of brilliant light is super easy for you right um especially if you are an end game concept like me then this unit absolutely carries you through workshop if you don't have alicia then like i'm it's very very difficult to beat workshop especially as a free play player you're probably not beating it just because of how important this unit is um but if you have her and if you are free to play then i'm sure you can vouch for me in saying that yeah this unit just makes workshop really light just that much easier so i'm gonna put her double s tier for a reason obviously y'all know why um next up is gonna be the boy Choi. still double s tier in my opinion i mean the unit is fantastic you know being one of the only very few fire units we have in game like like three fire units actually um him song and emma he's still really good to this day if you do or obviously brand new yunsu new as well but um if you do need yourself a good fire dps unit he's not as crazy as he was beforehand um and obviously with yunsu new being out right now he did kind of go and get replaced but i still like this unit i still think he's great for free to play wise i think his damage is great and fantastic and just really helpful as well um and while the unit is not able to get any crits or anything like that you know saying his passive his ultimate is still stupid OP, especially if you get him to A1, I think is going to be a great place for free to play wise. Yeah, he's still he's still a unit that's dishing out damage and stupid OP as well. So I'm going to put Choi double S tier and I don't want to put him S plus just because again, I don't feel like he deserves it for free to play wise. I think he's still good and like, I don't want to say like, oh yeah, if you have Choi, he's not great. He's still hella good and super top tier to you. So Choi, I'm going to put double S tier 100%. I, I feel like I know some people might disagree with me on that. But I feel like he's 100% worth having as a double S tier unit in terms of damage and just because keep in mind he's working strictly off of attack, I guess defense spend, damage increase, all that stuff, and he's still doing hella damage. Could you imagine if he got crit rate crit damage? Yeah, he would be stupid OP. Okay. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and finish up the fire units, and that is the girl Emma. Stupid. I mean, just so so good even from day one this unit was still top tier and she is for a reason um very few units that do have breaks on it and this unit has break not only does she have break but her damage output is just insane and if you get her to a3 then she is also playing a fire support unit so i love that aspect about this unit um kind of like lead board in the sense that you know if you get some caught where well, actually lead board you're just giving the dark element increase just right off the bat but for emma if you get her to a3 she's giving i believe her I have to double check in game, but one of her um, passives is giving it to your entire team member to where you can do more damage as well. So the fire increase, the defense pen, or whatnot, and it's so good and helpful to have. 
because uh, right now while we don't have any content that is like strictly fire type heavy wouldn't we do because we will get it 100 when we do and there are any breaks this unit is going to be top tier because again there really isn't another fire break unit at least i don't think so so with that automatically the unit is just crazy high value to me and i will have a double s tier and plus i am just a tad bit biased on emma because she's really fun to use one of the one of the most fun units in my opinion um and just crazy crazy good to have okay next up jiwoo i mean yeah we just got a bikini first so obviously she's double s tier for a reason but outside the cosmetics in terms of breaks damage just amazing top tier helping you take down cerberus which i know was a big annoyance for a lot of people for a very long while so this unit is still top tier and her damage is crazy um her break damage just gets even better on her dupes as well i have her at a2 what i think is going to be great for free play so i am i'm like way more content with how my jiwoo is doing and her break her damage is just super top tier um, I mean, she's capable of being as your main DPS if you want to, but for the most part, she will always play like a sub DPS role and more of a brick unit role. So if you want to take her into Cerberus, then yeah, she's by far still one of the best units to take for Cerberus. So not much else to say. And that leaves us with the brand new Yoon Yoon. Um, where are we going to place this unit? I will probably place her... I'll place her double S tier. Again, the unit is really fun to use. Her range is crazy. Her kill shot just being one of the most insane skill set moves I've seen in any character. Having type advantage always on that attack and it being fire element, it's just stupid OP. Um, her damage is crazy good. Her skill is very unique off the sense that like the more defense spends you have, the more damage increase you get. And she's able to give that to Jin Woo as well on her support skill. Kind of broken and crazy in my eyes. So I'll keep her double S tier, but yeah that is the tier list for this one in terms of july let me know your thoughts kind of a long video i know but i kind of want to make sure i explain myself thoroughly on all these units on where they belong and um yeah if you disagree with me let me know your thoughts do i want to make any changes mm, probably not kind of bear in mind that this is a free to play tier list again so it may look a little bit weird on why some of these units are on par with the ssrs but kind of think of it as like an sr tier list and an ssr tier list so I just wanted to throw it all into one video. But anyways, I'll end it there. Y'all take care of a good one. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, make sure y'all are subbed, right? Take care. Peace.